who run everything in the world, including the newspapers, and meet triannually at a secret country mansion in Colorado known as The Meadows. Hey guys, thank you for joining me today on the show. I have a very special show for you today that's going to teach you how to back engineer any type of conspiratorial event, any type of thing rolling out on the news that you might not trust, uh, any type of scenario where it seems it is difficult to figure out what the true agenda might be or how it might have taken place. And uh, this formula, which can be inserted and used with AI, it will speed up your process of figuring this out. It is remarkable of what you can deduct from this. I have now almost 20 plus years in going through these scenarios, and I used to only be able to do it through deductive reasoning like a detective and piece the parts together. And now with this formula and the use of AI, you can speed up the process exponentially. Today, I'm going to go over using this formula I'm going to go over and show you how uh, it is possible that the world was deceived about true history, technology, and the millennial reign of Christ through the use of the formula. I'm not going to go through the formula and I'm explain it and things right now, but I am going to just show you what the formula will do. So erase and manipulate historical records. So. The action would be as fallen angels or their minions begin systematically erasing and altering historical records that reflect the true origins and purposes of ancient structures, structures, technology, and the millennial reign of Christ. Commission the destruction, burning, or concealment of ancient texts, artifacts, and agricultural and architectural events and evidence. Replace these with falsified documents and narratives that align with the new deceptive timeline. And the reason for this would be by controlling the narrative of history, you can manipulate future generations into accepting a false version of events. When the truth is obscured or erased, it becomes easier to introduce and enforce a new deceptive belief system. Step two, you want to introduce a new historical and scientific paradigm. And the action would be to develop and propagate an alternative history and scientific paradigm that discredits the old world technology and the millennial reign of Christ, period. So you want to use academic institutions, textbooks, and scientific communities to promote concepts like evolution, the Big Bang, and the myth of progress, which suggests that humanity has gradually advanced from a primitive state rather than from a fallen higher state where technology and advanced civilizations actually existed. This is exactly what they have done uh, to teach us that the old world or the Middle Ages or the Dark Ages were actually primitive, which we know from looking at the castles and the uh, technology that existed at that time, it was somehow very advanced. So what is the reason for this? A new scientific paradigm serves as the foundation for a worldview that denies the supernatural. It denies the divine uh, intervention of Christ, millennial reign, and the existence of advanced ancient technologies. The paradigm shift causes people to reject any evidence that contradicts the new narrative as myth or conspiracy. Isn't that exactly what we see going on now, even within the church? Step three would be to control education and information so we see the action is to gain control over the education system and mainstream media to ensure the new history and scientific paradigms are taught and reinforced from a very young age. Rewrite history textbooks to present the discovery uh, of America and the construction of old world buildings as achievements of post-Columbian European settlers. Depict any reference to the millennial reign or advanced ancient technologies as fringe theories unworthy of serious consideration. Oh boy, isn't that exactly what we see has happened? And the reason is by shaping the education system and controlling the flow of information, you ensure that each new generation is indoctrinated with the deceptive narrative, making the accepted truth and marginalizing any dissenting views. 
This is exactly how science or the scientific community works amongst itself, even in archaeological realms. They will absolutely destroy your career if you go against the paradigm. So rebranding these structures solidifies the deception, making it difficult for people to see them as remnants of a higher civilization or the millennial reign of Christ. It disconnects the buildings from the true purpose, integrating them into the false history. Exactly what we see has happened. Step five, you then use fear and social pressure to suppress the truth. The action is to introduce and enforce social norms, laws, and policies that label any alternative historical or scientific views as heretical, dangerous, or anti-progressive. Create a culture climate where questions or questioning the official narrative is met with ridicule, ostracism, ostracism or legal consequences. You use fear-based tactics to keep the population in line, such as threatening reputational damage, job loss, or social exclusion for those who dissent. It is, to a T, exactly how archaeologists have been treated, histori historians who have been treated, or religious people, or anyone who has come out to tell the truth about things even as simple as what stars actually look like, what planets actually are, and what they look like. Simple things like uh, land being past the ice wall, all of these crazy things, uh, the shape and size of the earth, when people come forward with very reasonable and scientific evidence, they are completely ostracized. And I'm talking about people with doctorate degrees in the area. What is the reason for this? Fear and social pressure are powerful tools to maintain control over public opinion. When people are too afraid to question the official narrative, they become complicit in perpetuating the deception even if they harbor doubts about it. Early on, we see that, and we believe in our theory, that these huge uh, insane asylums, often being housed in buildings that were large as castles, which make no sense at all, because we don't have, who would put forth that amount of money to build a castle to house people in an insane asylum? We believe they are post-remnant people uh, who would not stop telling people that the new narrative they were putting out is a lie and that Jesus actually was here for the millennial reign and so they simply captured all these people declared them as insane for religious fervency and put them away and their children were then put in orphanages and sent to factories to work or shipped across the country in different places like that so step six you want to suppress and discredit alternative theories. Actively discredit and suppress any theories or evidence that suggest an alternative history involving advanced ancient technology, the millennial reign of Christ, or the mud flood. Use the media, academic institutions, and scientific communities to label these theories as conspiracy theories or pseudoscience. Ensure that those who advocate for these ideas are marginalized and their platforms are restricted or censored. Gee, what did they do just to the truckers in Canada who who uh, decided to go against the government push for the false medical narrative. They seized their bank accounts, threatened them with arrest, and other things. What is the reason? It's because discrediting alternative theories ensures that the official narrative remains unchallenged. By marginalizing those who propose different views, you make it difficult for the truth to gain traction in the public conscience. So step seven, you want to promote a materialistic and secular worldview. This is for distraction. So the action is to encourage a worldview that, purport, that prioritizes materialism, secularism, and human achievement over spiritual truth or divine intervention. You want to promote ideologies that deny the existence of a higher power or a divine plan, framing religion and spirituality as outdated or irrelevant. This includes pushing scientific and technological advancements that focus on material progress and human control over nature. And now we see even the movement. People think that this whole movement about transgenderism is about caring and about people just living their lives. They don't realize that the ultimate goal that these 
groups have, the main controllers, is merging people with machines, chimera, uh, non-human entities now. It is the exact thing that went on in the book of Genesis and why the world was destroyed. That is the ultimate goal. These people do not care about your uh, sexuality at all. They want a non-sex, in fact, non-human community, possibly of just slaves to them. The reason a materialistic and secular worldview detaches people from the idea of a higher divine order, making them more susceptible to manipulation and less likely to consider the possibility of a hidden spiritual reality going on. It reinforces the false narrative by emphasizing human control and progress as the ultimate truth. This is the level of deception. And what I'm telling you within this, by utilizing this formula, you can create the scenario and back engineer exactly how things are taking place, whether it's uh, issues with guns, whether it's a medical tyranny starting to begin. This formula will lay out the plan and it will let you become like Sherlock Holmes, figuring out exactly what they are doing. Step eight, you want to leverage technology and scientific authority. Action, use the authority of science and technology to enforce the new narrative, presenting it as the only rational and evidence-based perspective. Deploy experts and authoritative figures in science and technology to dismiss any alternative history or supernatural explanations as irrational or scientifically untainable or unrealistic. What happens every time you see some kind of major event take place, be it the fires in Hawaii or California or some type of event, immediately you see the media uh, roll out its uh, broadcast and then they will have five stooges standing there with uh, uh, authority titles. They'll be standing there with some kind of tin badge or some kind of uh, uniform on explaining to you the situation and telling you whatever uh, whatever normative or whatever uh, whatever lie they have constructed uh, for you to believe because they have beat into your head that anyone in these positions of authority or this tin badge on or whatever it might be is going to be telling you the truth and knows more or better than you. This is why having a back engineering formula to know what they might be up to allows you to uh, deconstruct the lie. The reason for this would be by positioning science and technology as the ultimate, uh, the ultimate position of truth, you can discredit any claims that challenge the official narrative. Even when those claims are supported by evidence, the authority makes it difficult for people to question the narrative without being seen as anti-science or irrational. Where have you heard the term anti-science before? Yes. Step nine is to embed the narrative in cultural and social institutions. So your action would be to embed the new narrative in culture, social, and religious institutions to ensure its widespread acceptance. Encourage religious groups to reinterpret their doctrines to align with the new historical and scientific paradigm. Doesn't that sound realistic to you as to what happened? Promote cultural products like movies, books, and art that reinforces the official narrative and depict the old views as fantasy or myth. And the reason for this would be the narrative is embedded in culture and societal institutions. It becomes part of the collective consciousness, accepted without question now. This makes the deception self-perpetuating as it is reinforced by the very institutions that people trust for guidance and truth. I believe we've read old books that talks about the Ministry of Truth in Orwell's 1984. Step 10, you want to monitor and adjust the narratives as needed. So you continuously monitor the population's beliefs and attitudes. Boy, maybe that's why they are uh, trolling you and want to know everything you're saying on Facebook and social media platforms. Maybe that's why they arrested the uh, owner of Telegram because he wouldn't allow world governments to monitor and see what people are saying in private. Yes, that's probably the real truth behind it. So you want to adjust the narrative as necessary to, ad to address any emerging challenges or alternative theories. 
use propaganda, censorship, and psychological operations to maintain control over the public's perception and to counter any attempts to reveal the true history, technology, or spiritual realities. In fact, you may just call people conspiracy theorists. What is the reason for this? And that is to maintain control over the narrative. And that requires constant vigilance and adaptability. By monitoring and adjusting the narrative, you can preemptively address any threats to the deception and ensure that the population remains under the influence of the false belief system. Now, this outline demonstrates how fallen angels or their minions, possibly a religious group that Jesus talked about, could use the manipulation formula to deceive the world about true history, ancient technology, and the millennial reign of Christ, replacing it with a false narrative which aligns with their agenda. So, if you have, if you piece this together, go back and re-listen to it perhaps, there is a process by which all of this is done. It is repeated, it is used in every single uh, event that takes place from 9-11, 2001, to the Boston explosion, you know what the term is, moving up into the recent medical tyranny that took place and the ability to get people to do this to themselves, despite any actual scientific studies, uh, you can see that by using this formula on the population over and over and over again because it works, they have been able to take control of the narrative of everything in everyone's lives. And why, after 20 years of researching, I was able to construct this exact formula and how it is replayed over and over. And if you face a scenario going on and you use this formula, you can back engineer and realize the, the possibilities or the uh, construct that they are trying to create for everyone and prevent yourself from being fooled by whatever is happening, Sherlock Holmes formula, allowing you to be an instant detective. In fact, you can use this on uh, and with AI and it will spit out a scenario and you can add some extra things into it and it will be nearly precise in telling you exactly how an event is starting to take place. Even things dealing with an election coming up. You may have some deductive reasoning, but more importantly, protecting yourself from certain things that could harm your health or your family, etc. Now, I, I cannot reveal this formula on this platform because obviously they will just remove it or take it down. However, I do have a private lecture or webinar that will be going on where I'm going to go through the formula. I'm going to tell you how to do it. And then I'm actually going to give you a copy of the formula that you can use for, uh, you can use it for just brain power and deductive reasoning, or you can plug it into something like chat GPT, give it a few basic instructions and boom, you will have an entire scenario to figure out a formula of something that is going on. And from there, you can use your own rational or conscious decisions to figure out whether that sounds like exactly what is happening. And I can guarantee you, 90% of the time, it's going to be exactly what's happening when your conscience tells you something's wrong. So if you would like to join us on this webinar and uh, get a copy of this formula and learn how to do this, there will be a link in the description below. And for a donation, whatever you choose to donate, you can donate and join and uh, get a copy and watch this. And it will forever change your life and your ability to figure out and not get fooled by these asshats ever again. All right, guys, Dan Collier for the Sons of Light. And I uh, hope to see you on this uh, webinar. And some of you might catch it just as a review video, but you can join uh Click on the link in the description below and uh, sign up and then we'll notify you when it's coming out. And uh, so join the thousands of people that will be watching this and it will be so worth your time to get this. Uh, I wish I could just put it out within these videos and stuff, but you would never, the whole channel would get taken down, honestly. So um, for your benefit, <clears throat> you can join. Click on the link below. We'll see you there. All right, guys. Bye.